Well, hello and welcome back to another little video. Um, just a quick look, um, as you'll see, some of my seeds are really coming up well now. Um, it's only six days since I set these. Um, they are the dahlias over there. So things are really beginning to quite germinate quite well now, um, as you can see. Um, we've had some quite nice sunny days here, although sometimes you it's a silly thing to say but sometimes you don't want too much sun when you're trying to germinate seeds you want warm cloudy days more but but never mind um it's certainly saved um on the heating um but there sounds as though there's some very cold nights coming with even some possibility of some snow on wednesday night so um that um isn't um so good i just wanted to do a little video um this is my um, really trusty old um, little Aladdin uh, paraffin, or if you're in the other part of the world, kerosene heater. It's the Aladdin Series 22 greenhouse heater with the 203 burner, which is a two inch wick on this one. Um, I've had this many, many years. I originally had one of these um, brand new in 1978 when this greenhouse here was new. Um, sadly, that, that um, wore out by the um, the um, one problem with these is the fuel tank which is down here this part um, down there it rusted through on that one um, obviously it's a very damp environment in a greenhouse um, and um, I was lucky and um, in the early part of I think it was two year 2000 actually I, I found this one um, on an auction site, still in its original box, never been sold. It was brand new, um, ex stock, because by by the 2000, these have been stopped being made. Um, and um, I bought it and had it ever since. I hadn't used it the last uh, three or four years because I hadn't grown a lot of plants from seed. But last year I um, restored this, which there's some videos on my main channel. Um, you know, I showed you how to put a new wick in it put a new micro window in it. I painted the tank and um, sometimes these um, lug bolts um, or the, the threaded um, part can um, shear off with rust. And so I had to put one, a new one of those in to hold the, the, this curled nut which holds the burner in place. Um, and um, so that's all on my main channel. But this is an amazing little heater. Uh, I only have it on its lowest setting at night and it uses about a pint of paraffin. So it's, although paraffin is very expensive, um, it is quite economic and I, I could no way afford to heat this greenhouse any other way, either by electric or any other kind of, you know, um, I think even Caligas is, is dearer than paraffin now. Um, and I have the old original um, heater arms, um, which was an extra when I bought my first heater, which is this, which clips underneath and it sends the hot air under the staging. And obviously then that rises above the seeds and I put any delicate seeds that I want to have the most warmth right under here because this gets really warm and the warm air rises up under the staging. So it's a fantastic little heater. Um, it's brilliant. It doesn't smell. It's a blue flame heater. It's very clean burning. As I say, it's quite economic. Um, and if you're looking for a heater for your greenhouse, you might, you know, um, want to have a look on the auction sites and see if you can find one of these. They still do pop up. They do make quite um, surprisingly high prices if they're in good condition. Um, but it would certainly, this is an 8x8 greenhouse, it would certainly heat an 8x10 greenhouse. It might even be big enough for an 8x12 greenhouse, you know, if you wanted to heat certain areas under your staging, say. And it would even keep, I'm sure, it would even keep a polytunnel, a big polytunnel, frost-free. Um, you know, you could put you could put one of those little um, like wood burner fans on that because the top gets very hot. Um, you know, so you could put one of those little um, 
wood burner fans that blow themselves by the hot air on top of those that people put on wood burning stoves now. And that would certainly then circulate the air, uh, the warm air about more if you were trying to heat or just keep a polytunnel frost free. But um, sadly, this kind of blue flame paraffin heater isn't made anymore, um, or I can't find one for greenhouses. And um, I, I've tried other heaters over the years, um, particularly when my first one of these broke or, or rusted through the tank did. And I've tried other heaters and I just didn't like them. Some of them smelt, some of them didn't burn very clean. Um, some of them were a kerfuffle to get going and you had to have pipes and this, that and the other. And, and so this is just so simple. Um, to light it, one just turns that up there and then puts a match. Uh, if we hold the camera steady, you could just put a match there to the wick and it, it's as easy as that. So while I'm in, in here now, um, I'll just quickly light this. It's getting time, it's dropping in cool now. I've just got to get my match lit. There we go. And as I say, all you do is light the wick. Whoops, don't drop the match. It does help. You don't have to light it all the way round because it was soon it was soon catch on its own and um So there we go, we've got a good part of the wick lit. And then before it gets too hot, you just want to drop the chimney down and um, then let the flame get established. The one thing with any blue flame paraffin heater is uh, you want to, after you've lit it, and about 10 minutes after you've lit it, you just want to come back and check it because they sometimes start off very low and it might have come up a bit high, I find. Um, I am able to blow this out on this low setting, so I never alter the setting. And you can see now, we've got a lovely blue flame all round there. It's on a very, very low setting, uh, which, will be, which will be left on tonight. Um, it's just, you can... There we go just fl flicking a bit yellow there which you don't really want um, but it will it will settle down you know um, if you come back in another 10 to 15 minutes uh, that that'll have, have stopped doing that and um, that will have stopped juddering over there and um, settling down now already a little bit um, as I say it just needs to get warmed up basically um, as I say, no smell at all. Um, I've just watered in here, as I, I don't like to water in the sun of the day, so it's all a bit damp, so it'll get a bit steamy for a minute or two, but that's uh, no bad thing in a greenhouse. So there we go. That's the Super Little Aladdin um, Series uh, 22 greenhouse heater, and um, I've grown things with these, you know, for the past, friendly well, 45 years or more now, and had really good results. Um, I do rate this little heater, and it's such a shame these aren't made anymore. I think the problem is the burner's all brass, um, and it would probably cost more to make than it would be worth than they would sell. Um, so it's a bit of a catch-22, really, but um, it, it, and I, I think they probably have to make these heaters now with all these fangled safety devices as well and that would add more expense to it and it's fine you know obviously you know you've got to be careful with any paraffin heater you don't knock it over even in a greenhouse and um, you know if there's any if you're going to move it or you're working around it you blow the flame you may know, blow the burner out and um, before you pick it up or move it and or if you're going to be you know knocking things you know moving watering cans and knocking things around it um, so there we go, that's the Aladdin uh, greenhouse heater and I, I thoroughly recommend that. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Um, you know, do come back, please think about subscribing if you like this channel. We do talk about gardening and um, countryside matters and um, 
uh, I've had a passion for growing plants for all my life, since I was two years old really, and um, it never goes away. <laughs> so thanks to everyone, and um, please like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Uh, I appreciate it all, so thank you very much to everyone, and uh, good gardening, and bye for now.